Time to unload the truck. Make that look like a shower. Okay, friends, let's check out the work site for today's build. So, we're gonna go up this little hill. This is where the old shower was. I'll show you what that looks like. Check that out. So that's the old sink. Right here is the shower. Nice pallet shower. You stand on that stool right there and uh, you hang your shower bag right up on those hooks. There's a little ledge for your soap. And uh, we got hooks in the trees for your towels and change of clothes so here's what we're looking at for our, our job site for today's build you can see I got some uh, tools up here ready there's our bricks for our four by fours and right about here it looks pretty flat and that's where I'm gonna throw this structure up you can see where it is in relation to the old shower. So that's it, friends. Stand by. It's going to be fun. Over and out. It's getting pretty hot up here. I'm going to need a shower when this is done. Seven by four. Let's get a little layout. I got all my supplies up here to at least get started. We got four by fours, some gravel, a two by six. There's more down the hill. The tools and the blocks. So let's prep this site up. Heavy. Wow. I have no idea. Big chunk of steel right there.
if anybody's got an idea leave it in the comments huh crazy sure is heavy it'll be good right there for now all right prep the ground for the for the blocks get some of these needles out of here Let me show you my plans. So, right here, that's going to be our doorway. Originally, I had it at 72 inches, 6 feet. We're going to make it 84, stretch it out to uh, 7 feet. Jeez. I'm accounting for a 28 inch doorway. And here I had a uh, 44 inch wet area and those are going to be my 4x4s. The big plans look something like that. And at the end of this video, it'll all make sense. Alright, I got my, my bricks down, a little bed of stone. going to level these off and just come up a little back we'll fix this problem tight fits good but not this tight
All right, well, I just got done measuring. And uh, believe it or not, it is square. Let's go check it out. Looks good. Looks good. That right there looks like a shower. Pretty roomy too. All right, everybody, we're back. Skipped ahead a little bit. We got the ground floor all in and I know it doesn't look level because it doesn't look level to me but level doesn't lie come on so we're square We've got it boxed up I just got screws in here now temporarily holding everything up then I'm going to uh, drill some holes for some carriage bolts and uh, lag screws. Cinch it down nice and tight, but we're coming along. Looks like a shower. Sure make these hard to open. We're going to be using uh, 10 D's, inch and a half. Hot dip galvanized. This is what you want to use. Code says so. But who's following code, eh? All right. It's a workout, eh? All right, folks, floor joists are in. Ready to rock and roll. Get a deck on here now. She ain't going anywhere. Hey, friends, get the deck on. going pretty smooth as you can see here it's starting to rain out
leverage. Make an anchor and then pull on the ends. Start the screw. Bend it where Perfect. That's how you straighten a deck board. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll check back in a little bit. Yeah. Let's test it out. Rock solid. Last screw. Make it count. She wrote. The floor is complete. Check it out. It's looking good. Looking like a shower. Welcome back friends. We skipped a couple steps in the build, but you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. And today I acquired a helper. I got this guy to paint at the gas station. He's willing to do it for a six pack of beer. So that helps me and it helps the channel. You got something to watch doing a good job thank you kindly sir I might have to give you a 12 pack all right well that's this part I'll take you up top and show you that surprise next I need more wood let me show you what's going on up top Skipped a couple steps. Whew. So you can see, ended up going with some ice and water shield on the interior with some overlap. Since this is going to be a, a shower, working on these walls, and inside, we got our metal up. Get that siding up. She'll be buttoned up, ready for a hot shower, eh? 
Oh, and we got the beam up top for the uh, for the roof rafters. That's in place. So she's taking shape. Check back in a little bit. Over and out. Let me show you the process here. Booyah. What do we do there? Cut that broken one. Go with the nail. Yeah, on. that's a good idea. Let me get some interior footage. It might. I mean, hammer it. Is the question. You could look with nails in it. Or just love tap it. Come on, baby. That's how we do it. Come on. That almost got burned. Bush life. This is the water unit that's going in. Shower head. I should go as high. What do you think? Yes. Hopefully. That mistake didn't cost me two dollars. Plus time. This could be costly. Okay. Might need that someday. Okay. We 
got one left over. Don't screw this up, man. One to spare. Changed any battery yet? It's a quality tool. DeWalt. Spot. Built tough for real men. You can see we have the exterior walls here drying. Shack red, shackalicious. Everything kind of matches. It's all going to be part of the resort life. Oh, look at that. What is on the deck? It's come a long way. We got to take a look at this thing right here. Look at this bad boy. Established 2016. Can't screw with it. Look at the war wounds on the bottom. Roof almost finished. It's probably eight o'clock. Welcome back, folks. That's a wrap. The shower, aka bathhouse, is all complete. There's our water supply. We gotta figure out a better way to house this gear, do that next trip. So here we have our tank connected to a hose that goes to a filter system to screen out some debris to the pump, to the unit inside, powered by a battery with a 15 amp fuse and we'll just take a little walk around get a little perspective here what it looks like so that's going to be the exterior now for an inside tour we have a tankless hot water heater it's powered by two D cell batteries and it heats the water with propane inside we got pressure treated wall that's a heat shield in the making what happens is there's a vent up top that gets kind of hot so I'm trying to protect the roof from the heat with the shield and inside we have wall-to-wall -wall metal it's about seven feet long four feet wide and that's all she wrote there's only one thing to do next take a shower over and out Look at that. <clears throat> nice and hot. Dripping away. Not too shabby.
will see you on the next video.